This is the OTP presented by Farm Bureau Health Plan, celebrating 77 years of providing Tennesseans with high quality health coverage at an affordable price. Visit FBHP.com today to learn about their history in Tennessee and to get a quote, that's FBHP.com. With Amy Wells, I'm Mike Keith, welcome back. Hey, Good thanks. to see you. Good to be back. Glad you're here. Good to be here. Cedric Gray is here. Yes, I'm here. Titans linebacker, yep. rookie, North Carolina. Welcome. Thank you, thank you. I'm glad to be here. We're glad to have you. Yep. I mean, when the third round ended, I don't know anything about scouting, but all I could think to myself is, we have to get Cedric Gray. Yeah. The Titans had never visited with you other than at the Senior Bowl, right? Correct. I, I mean, it was just so obvious. We need a linebacker. You're a linebacker. You're really good. You do a lot of different things. Had the Titans gone through your mind much? Nah, honestly, throughout the whole process, they, they didn't go through my mind much. Um, but obviously, in and off uh, day two, uh, I didn't get drafted. So obviously, like my brothers, my moms, they're like looking at who got the draft picks next days and different things like that. Um, and there were talks that Titans kind of needed a linebacker. So I think that morning, you know, I kind of had a, you know, a couple teams in mind and Titans were definitely one of them. Feel like home already? Oh, yes. I, I, I love it here. So I heard a lot of good things about it. Um, I visited a few places already since I've been here. Facilities are beautiful, uh, great people, great coaches. Uh, so I'm just excited to continue this journey. How much have you enjoyed getting to know the coaching staff, some of the other guys that are in the building? Um, because you didn't have the benefit of coming here and meeting a bunch of people during a 30 visit or something like that. You're walking in the door, hey guys, I'm home, right. <laughs> and it's a bunch of new faces. Right, yeah, I've enjoyed it. You know, I've enjoyed, you know, meeting up with my new teammates. Uh, like I said, Sweat is my roommate back at the hotel. Tavondre. Yeah, He's going to be on here in just a minute. Yeah, you know? <laughs> yeah. Uh, James Williams, we trained together when I was in Florida. Uh, me and Jalen were together um, at the Senior Bowl. Um, and just continue to bond with other guys. There's an undrafted guy, uh, Gabe Judy, who I went to high school with. Um, so just creating a bond and, and, and finding ways to, you know, become closer. And obviously with the coaching staff, uh, Coach Frank Bush, he's a great coach, man, with a very, very funny, funny character for sure. Uh, coach Wilson, the DC, has a lot, a lot of energy. He don't play no games, and I, and I really like that. So it's been a great, you know, first few days here in Nashville. You're from the Charlotte area. Yep. We know the story. You grew up playing seven on seven with Drake May. Yep. You were a very good receiver in high school. Yep. Had a lot of success. You wore number 11 because Julio Jones was your guy. When you went to Carolina, did you believe you were going to be a receiver? No, no, I, I understood that I was going to be a linebacker. Uh, I played linebacker in high school as well. Um, obviously, schools didn't believe I could be a receiver, so <laughs> I guess I had to switch sides. Uh, but I understood that I was going to be a linebacker. Uh, it really didn't matter to me. You know, I, I love playing football. You know, I like to classify myself as a dog, you know, a guy who would just go out there and go get it and, you know, will do anything to help his team win. Now, can you be honest with us? Deep in your heart, are you still a little bitter about the whole receiver thing? <laughs> You know, just maybe a tad <laughs> bit, tad bit. I'm not, I'm not bitter. You know, I just really miss like scoring touchdowns like on a weekly basis. You know, that, that's like you scored a lot best, of touchdowns in high school. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But there's got to be a part of that to where because you were such a receiver, you know, for so long, you can anticipate what other receivers are going to do. So maybe it's a little fun to be able to get in their way and mess up their moves and kind of anticipate what they're going to be able to do because your brain works that way, even though physically what you're doing is being a linebacker. Right, yeah, I, I would totally agree. I think one of the things that helped me out is a lot as a linebacker is just the athletic ability that I had because I played you know, receiver in high school um, and different things like that. But like you said, understanding how they're r running routes and leverage and different things like that, um, and just understanding, you know, key points because I played the position um, and, and obviously kind of used that to my advantage as a defender. He's probably got the best stat line of anyone. Whoa, through that. That's okay. I'll get it. That's you read okay. the stat line. Okay. So the stat line in your career, 369 tackles, 
Eight and a half sacks. 14 quarterback pressures. Thank you. You're welcome. 30 tackles for loss. Five interceptions. 13 passes defensed. Six forced fumbles. Five fumble recoveries. You tally in every category with a really good number. Is there anything you don't do well? <laughs> I didn't score in college. Oh! <laughs> And does that bug? Yes, that bothers me. I wish I scored in college, but I'm going to get one in the NFL, hopefully, uh, someday. So is there anything in life off the field that you don't do well that you wish you did? Oof. Um, cook. Mm. <laughs> you don't cook? Not well. <laughs> <laughs> Not well. I can grill a little bit. I can grill a little bit. What do you like to grill? Uh, just regular chicken, hot dogs, burgers, something like that, but... Yeah, anything to... outside of that, uh, I'm not your guy. All right, we're going to have to work on this with him <laughs> a little bit because we can't have you starving. <laughs> I mean, you got to teach the man to cook. Yeah. Fair. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely fair. You are a really even guy. Does anything get you wildly excited? Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. Football. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I, I bring a lot of energy on the field, uh, especially, you know, the more that I get comfortable you know, these past few days, you know, just trying to understand what's going on out there. And I just noticed even a difference in myself today. You know, I felt like I had a lot more energy. You know, I, I had a day under me I mean, and brought a lot more energy. I mean, I feel like I'm like my most self when I'm playing football. I love to scream. I like to encourage my teammates, you know, and, and just bring the energy and, and just really show my personality. So you're a guy who the switch flips when you step between the lines. Right. Is there anything in particular that flips the switch for you? Yeah, I would say just, just the juice and the energy. You know, usually a, a big play, a big hit. You know, seeing your teammates, you know, make a play. You know, that really kind of gets me pumped and gets me excited, makes me want to go make a play. So uh, definitely would say that. Are people who know you off the field surprised the first time they see you play or surprised that that guy is the same as Cedric we know? My close friends and family, probably not, uh, but maybe some people who have, you know, kind of been around me, but not, you know, personally and different things, they probably would be a little bit surprised uh, about how I am. Do you have a question we should ask your roommate, Devondre Sweat, as he's coming on next? <laughs> what should we want to know? Ask him if he snores at night. Ask him if he snores. Yeah. Okay. Ask him that. Can you, is, is it so bad you can't sleep? No, nah, it's not, it's not that bad. It's not that bad. Okay. It's, it's funny because like, he he'll, he'll just like fall bad. asleep like randomly. Like it'll be, take him a little 10 minute nap and then he'll just wake up. Like. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, we're going to let you go on and we're going to bring him on and we'll find out about the snoring thing. <laughs> Senator Gray, thank you cool, so much. thank you. All right. Tell you about our friends at SeatGeek now, the official ticketing partner of the Tennessee Titans. Whether you're buying or selling tickets to Titans games or any live event in Nashville, SeatGeek is the place to do it. SeatGeek, the new official ticketing partner of the Tennessee Titans. So Titans fans can fan. As promised, this is Tavondre Sweat. Sure is. University <laughs> of Texas, defensive lineman. Are you, an, are you a nose tackle or are you a defensive tackle? Or does that matter anymore? Uh, it doesn't matter anymore. I'm both. Okay. I play nose and deep tackle. You like to torture centers? I like to do it all. <laughs> <laughs> do you have a it. preference? I like nose. Mm -hmm. I love nose. Uh, just because um, I can get to the man faster, you know? So, and he like right here in my face. It's like me versus you, so I kind of like nose better. Your nickname is Meatloaf. Meatloaf. Why? 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 Meatloaf. <laughs> I must know. Uh, so one day was playing a basketball game when I was younger. Uh, one of my god moms, she was like, "Keep going, me love." <coughs> Out of nowhere, and next thing you know, my name been Meat Love from since that basketball game. So if you if you passed Amy here in the hall at Ascension St. Thomas Sports Park and she went, "Hey, Meat Love," and you you would just say, "Hey, Amy," and that would just be yeah. So you answer to that? Yeah. Big How loaf, many? big loaf, loaf. Really? Loaf, loaf, loaf. Okay, so <laughs> you're Texan. The singer Meatloaf was also a Texan. Are you familiar with any Who's, song? I didn't know there was a singer named Meatloaf. You didn't know there was a singer? 
No. Two out of three ain't bad. Bad out of hell. I will do, do anything, anything for, for love, love, but I won't do that. Never heard of it. You've never heard of Meatloaf? Never heard of Meatloaf. Okay, be careful. Michael start playing you songs. Oh, gosh. I you never, did not know. No. This, I just knew it was my name because of basketball game. This is the best. He's so this, young. This interview couldn't have gone any better. This is, all, <laughs> this is phenomenal. This is off and running. All right, so can I ask another one or do you want to No, go? please go okay. right ahead. You're a serious basketball player. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Could you like dunk? Yeah. Can you dunk now? On a good day. Okay. On a good day. <laughs> <laughs> because the, the story, you're from Huntsville, Texas. Huntsville, born and raised. Th nice. And you were roughly 250 when Texas signed you? No, 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 no. Okay. That's wrong. Okay, good. Okay. Everybody around here think, oh, Chief was 250 when he got to college. I wish. If I was 250 going into college, I don't believe I would be 365 going out of college. That's, that's, a, that's so unbelievable. You, okay, but that's what the I report said, that you gained 100 pounds. No. Okay. I, my first season at UT, I was 340. Oh, okay. Oh, wow. Everybody thought I was three. But three, not. That, I was three, so three, four, how did that first. story get started that when you were being recruited? Because uh, one of my pitchers, I looked at real skinny, but that was when I was getting recruited. And everybody thought that was my freshman year, but that picture was for me being recruited. Oh. So that's why everybody's like, so you was 250 coming into college. No, I was not. I wish. <laughs> When's I the last time you weighed 250? The heck if I know. <laughs> <laughs> but, but basketball was a serious passion, though, right? Yeah, yeah, I played basketball all through high school. I was a starter. And yeah. do, you, do you still like to play some? And yeah, I like to, you know. I think it's good conditioning. So that's kind of, if I do it now, I kind of do it based off of, like, conditioning. But I want to say I love the sport. So we got the whole meatloaf thing straight. We got yeah. the whole you gained 100 pounds at Texas. The other story, and, and I know this is true, LaShonda Ross is your mom. Whew. Got a picture in my locker. I know you take it very seriously. She was or is working two jobs. She is. And you've made clear she's like your favorite person in the whole world. 100%. And that's one of the things you're most excited about becoming a professional football player. Just to see her smile and get to support her son. Oh, taking care of mom. Me cry. Oh yeah, I'm a mama's boy. Well, that's okay. I'm a baby too. So, so what are you, what are you gonna buy, mom? House in Houston. That away. Yeah. 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 Oh, that's so. That's nice. good stuff. Okay, now you can ask yeah. questions. I'm Why sorry. is mom your favorite person in the whole world? She birthed me. Yeah. Well, yeah. There, well, that's there pretty good. That. I wouldn't yeah. be here without her. There is and that. Yeah. Well, the real reason is I for sure can't count on one hand how many games she missed in college. Really? Yeah. It's probably what two. Three. And, you know, if you're working two jobs yeah. to but get she, to all oh, those no, games. Oh, no, 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 She let her job know that she's not, she's not missing no games. That's awesome. And they 100% agree with it. Yeah. Boss is a U, UT fan, I believe, and her son. You mean University is, of Tennessee? No, oh, no. What? <laughs> no, no, what? no. Uh, Longhorn. Okay. Hook them. Do you know where you are now? I know where I'm at. This I is still Tennessee. bleed orange. Burnt. Hmm. Is that real Burnt. orange? Orange. You think that's real orange? <laughs> yeah, most definitely. Yeah, yeah, I was before. Yeah, 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 yeah but. Hey, yeah, Mike. like a long time before. Mike, huh? he's a lot bigger than you. Well, I, I know, mean. but I'm just, you know. Just like when well, you went to I'm, Tennessee. Like yeah, a I did. lot. Ah, no, y'all not the real T. Glad you're coming to a real conference now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we're going to run it. <laughs> Yeah, <sighs> don't run it. I'm starting to sweat. <laughs> <laughs> don't sweat it. We're having fun. <laughs> don't having sweat fun. it. Yeah, don't sweat it. <laughs> don't That's sweat it. Show. Get your merch. Mm -hmm. Don't sweat the it. Official <laughs> to Vondre Sweat. The Podcast. OTS. The OT Sweat. So we'll have the OTP. OTP. And then the OTS. Yep. With merch that says "Don't sweat it." Don't. Don't sweat, sweat it. it. I already got it. Mm -hmm. You do. Yep, make them. It's already. Look at that. Make them sweat. Make, make them sweat. sweat. Never let them see you sweat. Yeah. That Dang. was on a commercial. Yeah. Is that maybe the best last name of all time? It's the group. It pretty is dope. It's yeah. Pretty dope. Yeah. Do you ever not have fun? I mean, I just live my life just 
happy because like I'm not a big guy that I could just say I'm a Christian, but like I believe like in God and all that. But sure. I'm more of like we never know what's our last day, so. Why not go see people smile? I graduated too. I, I don't know if y'all said that, but I graduated. Yeah. The mm-hmm. real UT. Mm-hmm. Real mm-hmm. UT. Mm-hmm. You know, mm-hmm. education. Look. Well, it's a great school. Great. It's a great school. Better school. Let's. <laughs> better, better school. No, don't do that. Come on. <laughs> Remember where Let's you Let's be honest. I mean, I know I'm, I'm in Nashville, but. I'm trying to help you. This is where you work now. Yeah. You I'm should a be... Titan, not a Tennessee. It's not, uh, a, it's not a Tennessee. Not a university you're, you're a vol, of Tennessee. A volunteer. Oh. And they're the volunteers because they volunteered to come save Texas in the <laughs> 1840s, which is what happened. <sighs> oh I mean, it gosh. is. Look this it up. Is, this is getting out of control. But no, but I'm just... I mean, I'm just saying we're the real UT. No, you're the real Texas. Oh, come on. But you're, you know... Y'all can't compete with us. You go find <laughs> out. Yeah, we is. <laughs> mm-hmm. We sure is. How did the Tennessee, <laughs> can't wait. How did can the Tennessee Texas basketball game go in the NCAA tournament? Oh, I don't know. No. Yeah, well. Didn't go I well. I know. Yeah. Who, who, we lost? Yep. Yeah. And you he don't did. know who Meatloaf is? No. He's Meatloaf. He is Meatloaf. He's Meatloaf. Because the other Meatloaf is no longer with us. So yeah, he's so he's taken the real over. Meatloaf. Mm-hmm. Taking over The meatloaf. one true loaf. And you are awesome. So I, I think y'all forgot here. something too. What's that? You say at the beginning you was like Tavondre Sweat, defensive tackle. Right. At the University of Texas. Yes. I didn't say UT. I said at the University of Texas. I was trying to get to like, why you didn't say UT? Yeah, that's why. Because you're not. We are. No. I got my T ring. I brought my T ring down here just for that. Because I'm aware and people could be like, oh you want the t-? No. No, 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 no. The real UT. This is great. <laughs> this is so Can I ask you great. some football questions? Come on. Amy, do you have a football question or you want me to go first? No, you can go first. Amy don't have no questions. Amy's got a lot of questions. I have a lot of questions, but Come I know on, that Mike has them. some very specific notes. No, I'm good. And I don't want to ruin it. from the University of Tennessee. Oh just wanted to show you that. Okay. Um, Let me say. I can't even see it. See, I would never do a UT book like that. <laughs> is that right? <laughs> yeah, I would place it. I could never. <laughs> <laughs> I, like I could never. <laughs> you are, and, and Jim Nagy, who runs the Senior Bowl, said it. Love him. Yeah, you should. He loves you. He called you the most unique player in the draft. Yeah. Because of what you do at your size, and not just the fact that you do things like a big man, there are things that you do like Cedric Gray does in terms of how you move and you can cut and all of that. For, for a guy your size to be able to be as agile as you are, what are the things that gave you that ability when you started in sports overall all the way through your time at the University right, of right. Texas? I can start off, everybody probably think I was a lineman out through my whole life. Oh, it wasn't true. Uh, I was actually a quarterback. Let me give y'all a funny story. Um, I used to score touchdowns at flag football for uh, Chips Ahoy and Oreos. Wait. I just scored a touchdown for cookies. <laughs> Who gave you the cookies? Uh, my uh, mom's sister. Oh, okay. So for every my touchdown, aunt. you received a cookie? No, no, no. If I score a amount of uh, touchdowns, I get a pack of cookies. That's incredible. It's like yeah. what you do with me when I ask a good question. It is. Yeah. It's exactly Here, the Mike, same thing. Yeah, cookies. have a cookie. Yeah. yeah. So that, uh, is that what really got you started? Or I would say you have scored anyway? Started yeah, but that was like a little, you know, I got these cookies, you better go score touchdowns, you know. So that was a little motivation when I was a little younger. Good story. Um, first time playing tackle football. Mom actually took me out of it. Why is because I wasn't ready. I was, I got hit one time. I was playing a uh, quarterback. I got hit. I was crying. So she told me to take off my pads. And the next day I had to go back to flag football. Then the next day I was like, I'm ready to play uh, tackle football. So that, I think that's a good, funny story. That's a great story. Yeah. That's why I love my mom to death, you know, because she was also just, it was just tough love. She understood that if you were going to compete yeah. in sports throughout. You mm-hmm. have to be ready for that it. You've, I got to be ready. That's right. got to be tough enough for it. That's it. You are an effective pass rusher. Most men your size are not. Right. What is it about your game 
that allows you to be an effective pass rusher. Sure. And part two of that is where do you hope Tracy Rocker, your position coach, can help you improve to become a better pass rusher? Well, I hope he just just showed me the tough love and just want to see the greatness out of me. That's what I'm really uh, hoping for. And I got two veterans, Jeff Simmons and my guy Colbert. So just learning from even just learning from Simmons, like. He's a heck of a pass rusher. Like, let's, he's different, you know. So just being next to him and me having that opportunity to learn from a guy that's that mm -hmm. guy, you know, is it's awesome. So I, I'm really ready, and I can't wait to learn from him and just learn how to be a pro, honestly. But I really just say it's God's gift, man. Honestly, I give it to the men upstairs because. Without him, I would be nothing. You know what I mean? And I asked my mom and my dad uh, where I get my skills from because I don't know if they play sports. I, I think my mom did, like, track one time and stopped. My dad, they say he played football, but I still don't know where I get my skills from. So just say the man upstairs. Good answer. Well, how do you resist the urge to just rely on the fact that you have these God-given gifts, that you are this athletic, right. you are so strong, you are so big, um, and actually remember that you need to use the proper technique. You need to actually learn how to do things at this level. How do you balance the two? Oh, uh, well, like I say, yes, yeah, God gifted, but I ain't gonna get no better if I don't perfect my craft. I'm not a perfect human being. None of us is, so. Yeah, I go do the extra with my hands and my feet, you know, to just keep that. But honestly, just God gifted. So wrap up with a serious question. You you do have these gifts. You're you're like a painter or a singer or. I love country music. Have you met Jelly Roll yet? No, I want to so bad. And I just seen he a Titan fan. A huge Titan huge fan. Titan fan. So if Jelly Roll see this, just Jelly, I he will. Meet he him. watches everything we do. Yeah, yeah I want to. I want to meet Jelly. He's Roll. a great guy. Very proud of Jelly. Roll. I want to go to the studio with him. I think yeah. that'd be pretty Trust dope. Me, he'll let you. But you do have these gifts in that way. Do you feel a pressure almost to say, to live up to these gifts? I've got to get to to this level. Is that something that drives you? It drives me 100%, but I don't feel pressure about anything. Like, yeah, I get a little nervous. Everybody get the nervous and the little butterflies, but I've been doing this all my life. I've been doing it all my life. I've been playing ball all my life, so it's nothing new to me. Mm -hmm. So like I say, just Jeff, the way he go about situations, for him to get that contract he got, and I'd be like, because I want to get there. Sure. So then I get to learn from him, a great guy like him. You know, we've been chopping it up already, so. Just getting to learn from him and learn how to be a pro, it's going to be amazing. I can't wait. Amy's done something special for you. She has put together five places, five restaurants that you have to visit in Nashville. Just as our gift to you, because she wanted, she's I want to make sure you're foodie. eating well here. She is a foodie. She's an expert. And so I like sushi. You okay. like sushi? Oh, shoot. That's a curveball I wasn't expecting. We can get you a sushi place. Do you like? Fried chicken. Of course. Okay. So I think you need to go to Prince's Hot Chicken. Mm -hmm. I think it's the best hot chicken in Nashville. This is my Nashville gift to you. Nashville hot chicken. There you go. It's a thing. It's real good, I heard. Do you like barbecue? Of course. Different than Texas barbecue. Still amazingly good. Martin's barbecue. Both are good. Texas barbecue is different. I, it it is it's totally different. different. We, we admit that. It, okay. It's, yeah, got it. But they're, it, they're all good, I think. No, uh, Pizza. Mm. Five points pizza in Nashville is Five point. a You'll top. Like. Do you like Mexican food? Oh, yeah. Rose pepper. Mm -hmm. rose Very pepper. good. Rose yeah, pepper like is that. what it's called. Everybody from Texas really likes rose pepper. Rose pepper. There yep. you go. And our final place, do you like a good steak? Yeah. A some, steakhouse? Some, sometimes. Sometimes? Yeah. I'm more of like a sushi guy, though. Like, I like sushi or, like, chicken. Well, here's where you need to go. You need to go to Cane Prime. They have steak. They have sides. They also have sushi. Boom. Mm. You would like that. All of Game it together. Problem. They have a steak I'll probably sushi go there for roll. rookie dinner. No telling. Yeah. No telling what Jeff got up his sleeve. You know yeah. he's going he's gonna to hit you with a big bill. You know that, right? Yeah. Yep. It'll be fine, though. It'll be all right. You be can do it. Because then you'll get to do it to people after this. Yeah, I know he'll take care of me, too. Jeff will take care of it. He'll be good. Yeah, I heard great stories about him, so. Oh, he's... You know, 
I heard he's a country guy. Oh, yeah. He is. My huge, type guy. huge country guy. Yep, so we'll get along very well. You will get along very well. Yeah. And he's only the best defensive tackle in the league, so that's all. Yeah. Yeah, that's good. Man, this was fun. 100%. Thanks for doing it. Thank you all. Yeah. Go Vols. Oh, my gosh. Mike. Go Longhorns. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> hey, everyone. This is Tavondre Sweat. Here's Mike. Here's Amy. Thank you all for watching the OTP.